everybody today I am back to share my freezer organization I'm gonna show you what my freezer looked like before and then after the transformation in just a moment um, I had recently been inspired on Pinterest to do some freezer organization I saw some um, there was a few posts that had bins from maybe the it was like the Dollar Tree or like dollar type stores and I searched all over Fargo and could not find anything that even resembled what I was looking for. I was something, looking for something very long that had some height and also had a little bit of width that wasn't just kind of like only about an inch or two wide. I don't know. It was just, it was such an odd size um, of container and I couldn't find one anywhere. So what I did was last time I was in Minneapolis, I went to the container store. I had to get a couple of other things anyways, and I did some freezer measurements before I left, and I got a couple of things. So let me show you what I purchased for the organization. I actually got three of these. These are the multi-purpose bin. This is the large, and the exact size is 13 by 6 and a quarter by 9 and 3 fifths. Um, it works perfectly. I love that there's like a little handle right here as well and there's a handle on this side too. And these were very reasonably, reasonably priced, I can't talk today, at $5.99 a piece. I did get three of them. Um, I only actually utilized two of them. The reason being is because there was so much stuff in my freezer before. In the very center there is like a slope that goes down and actually protrudes out quite a bit and I didn't realize that with all the stuff that was in the freezer. So I do have to return this one, but I think I'm going to try to find a very similar width, but maybe the length a little bit shorter if I can find something like that at Container Store next time. So let me show you the before and after, so here we go. So here's a quick look of the before tour of my freezer. Um, my freezer came with this like rack that I'm going to try to pull out. And this is just currently everything that's in the freezer. This is just like ice bucket thing that I don't think I'll be using. Um, but we'll see in the end. And then over to the right hand side, this is all of my like grated cheese. I just buy it when it's on sale and freeze it because it's just so much easier that way and then I have like a random Trader Joe's uh, chili lime chicken burgers right here so that is the before tour okay so here's the quick after tour of the freezer revamp these are the bins that I was talking about before um, I did get it to go here obviously and I had talked about that but this little section um, protrudes out quite a bit probably about three quarters of an inch so it just doesn't fit which is totally fine but here's how I have it organized on the left hand side I have all of my meat and seafood so I have some shrimp and then I've got some turkey ground turkey and then some chicken back here this is my ultimate favorite chicken from Trader Joe's it's the mandarin orange chicken and then that goes well right there and here are some like chicken Kiev items and then over to the right hand side this is all my fruits and vegetables so I have all of my vegetables up front and then my fruit is in the back and I use that for my smoothies and then inside the door I have these as well these are the Trader Joe's chili lime chicken burgers there's four in a box and I currently have three boxes and then underneath here is all of my grated cheese. I just freeze it right away and I just purchase it when it's on sale at my local grocery store. And I am definitely good for quite a while. So that is the after tour of the freezer. Okay, so that is it for my freezer organization. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, feel free to post them below and give it a thumbs up if you wanna see my refrigerator organization. I've been thinking about redoing that as well and I just haven't gotten around to it. So if you give it a thumbs up, maybe I'll uh, put that one on my list of things to do. So thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for more videos and I will talk to you all very soon. Bye.